Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German plant. Incoming mortar. That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. Order your infantry to good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. NCOs reporting that you have been granted access to glider-borne commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. To request a glider, left-click on the glider button. Now left-click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Left-click again to target the desired direction you would like the glider to land. Commandos reporting for duty. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Enemy unit destroyed. Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build emplacements. This concludes this training exercise, sir. Third battalion awaits. Welcome to training. Kampfkorpelier standing by. During this exercise, you will learn about the unique aspects of the Panzer Elite and their arsenal of vehicles. You learn how to attack from half-tracks, to capture and secure territory with vehicles, to resupply with the munitions half-track, and to lock down vehicles. Kampfkorpelier has heard reports of enemy infantry in the area. We need to scout their position. First, Panzergrenadiers are the backbone of any Panzer Elite army. They are versatile and able to respond to any enemy threats. They also provide basic logistical support through building base structures and repairing damaged vehicles. Garrison that half-track. We need to move out. Right-click the half-track to order your Panzer Grenadiers to get inside. Good. Notice that your Panzer Grenadiers have taken up positions in the back. Panzer Elite Infantry garrisoned in open-top vehicles can shoot out the back with any equipped weapons. Half-track and Panzer Grenadiers are ready for action. Select your half-track. Enemy infantry spotted. Move out and attack them. Order your half-track to attack the indicator squad by right-clicking on it. The Panzer Grenadiers are not only transported with the vehicle, but they add additional firepower to the half-track's own machine gun. En enemy infantry defeated. Look out! Counter-attack! Taking too much damage. We need more firepower. Get a grenade on that infantry. Additional reinforcements available. Left click on the flashing grenade. Arc. Target the infantry and left concert grenadiers use incendiary grenades. These grenades don't do much initial damage, but entrenched squads will burn if they stay put. We have enemy infantry neutralized. Recon reports an enemy infantry squad occupying a nearby slit trench. Let's take them out. This is a mortar half-track. This mobile artillery vehicle is quite effective at dealing with entrenched... Select your mortar half-track. Order the mortar half-track to fire an incendiary barrage at the enemy infantry squad. Left-click on the flashing incendiary mortar button. Good. 
Now left click on the enemy squad to... Excellent. Bombardment underway. Excellent. Bombardment underway. You'll notice your barrage was only marginally effective. Several more barrages are needed to fully defeat the enemy squad. Look at the incendiary barrage button. The ability has a long recharge time, preventing you from issuing additional barrages. Let's call in resupply support, the munitions half-track. This vehicle resupplies nearby units by greatly reducing the recharge time of their abilities. Select your munitions. Order the munitions half-track to move closer to your mortar half. Good. The munitions half-track is within resupply range. This is indicated by the symbol above the mortar half-track. Notice the incendiary mortar ability. It is fully charged and ready to fire. Order the half-track to barrage the infantry with incendiary rounds again. Notice the incendiary mortar ability recharges faster if the munitions half-track is nearby. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Excellent job. Infantry neutralized. For our next objective, let's capture and secure territory. This is a scout car, a Panzer Elite vehicle that can capture strategic points. Select your scout car. Order the scout car to capture the in... The scout car is an excellent recon vehicle. Armed with an MG42 light machine gun, it is excellent for defeating lightly equipped infantry squads. Good job. The sector is now in our control. Now time to secure it. To secure this sector, you'll need to upgrade your scout car first. Left click. With this logistic support upgrade, the scout car is able to secure territory. Good. The radio antenna now attached to the roof of your scout car indicates that it has been upgraded to a logistic car. Left click on the flashing button to secure this sector. Good job. The territory is now secure. No enemy activity. Notice that a scout car secured territory is immobile. To mobilize the scout car, left click on the secure sector button again. However, the territory will no longer be secured. Now that the territory is captured and secure, we need to bring in some heavier weapons to protect the scout car. This is a Panzer 4F infantry support tank, affectionately referred to as the Stubby for its short cannon. Select your support Panzer. Order the Panzer to move to the indicated position within the captured territory. Excellent, Panzer is in position. Achtung, incoming enemy! Notice the Panzer!
provides a slow rate of fire. You can increase its rate of fire by using its rapid fire ability. Left click on the flashing. We have eliminated the enemy once more. Good job. The Panzer is able to fire more quickly. However, it is now locked down and cannot move. Many vehicles in the Panzer Elite have the ability to lock down. However, the benefits differ from vehicle to vehicle. As a Panzer Elite commander, knowing when to sacrifice mobility for firepower is crucial for victory. Enemy Excellent. Eliminated. Notice your Panzer was promoted to veteran status. In the command panel, there are two veterancy buttons. When Panzer Elite squads and vehicles gain veterancy, this unlocks two special skills, allowing you to customize the combat effectiveness of the unit. The first ability boosts the unit's offensive power, and the second its defensive power. With each rank of veterancy, you can choose which ability to apply to the unit. Left click on one of the flashing buttons to apply the bonus. Good. Your Panzer has been granted an offensive veterancy bonus. Excellent job. Infantry neutralized. Intel reports approaching tanks. The Panzer 4F's gun is no match for the heavy British armor. Time to call in the Luftwaffe company commander. You have been granted access to the Henschel strafing run. It is a very effective anti-tank airstrike. Left click on the flashing Henschel strafe. Now left click to target the indicated position for airstrikes. With this ability, Henschel aircraft will fly by the target location, targeting all enemies within their flight path. Eliminated. The Panzer Elite have two other company commanders besides the Luftwaffe. They specialize in scorched earth and tank destroyer tactics. Now you know about some of the unique aspects to the Panzer Elite. You learned about the three types of half-tracks, infantry and vehicle combat, vehicle capturing and securing, and finally veterancy and lockdown. Excellent work. Panzer Elite training complete. Dismissed.